everybody and welcome back to our channel. I'm Coldfire. And I'm Kit. And today we are still going down the Virgin Tour um, Boy, that journey. Is, right. <laughs> going down the Virgin. Um, yeah, we are reacting to the entirety of the Virgin Tour, but we are doing it in episodes in hopes that we don't get blocked. And we will be pausing, you know, in between that, you know, how to... If you play it in, in, in its entirety, you have a 99% chance of getting blocked. Right. So we're, we're not trying to, we want to hear it all the way in full as well, but we do understand the YouTube channel um, guidelines and it's to stop frequently so that they don't have a way to block you. So we're trying to get the Madonna out to you without her being blocked. Because nobody blocks Madonna. Nobody puts Madonna in the corner. And on that note, um, again, as a reminder, subscribe, yes. notify, hit the little bell thing, because we will be doing some stuff from Madonna that most people don't know about, but we're not going to tell you when, so you need to subscribe and notify. Yes. So, And on that note, we're going to jump right back into the Virgin Tour. Oh, this is going to be gonna part, now. This will be part three. Yes. I just love this song. It's got a it's got a good beat to it. And well, it's from Desperately Seeking Susan. No, I know. I which noticed, is a good movie to watch. I've, I've noticed. I've noticed how she's taken off her jacket. She's getting a little too hot up there. <laughs> yeah, because even though we are reacting to it in segments, this will be the third song that she is still going at, yep. and that's what I was going to tell you about. She had. For someone to have, you know, to be smiling on the stage when you're having all those lights on top of you and they say they are hot as hell, blaring down on you, she's having to make sure that her band is backing her up. So that takes trust. Mm -hmm. But she's not only singing, she's dancing, she's moving around, she is grabbing the audience's attention. She's trying to keep everything. It's, it's got. It seems like it. That would be like, that's called over multitasking. Well, at the prices for the concert tickets, it better be. <laughs> yeah. But but anyway, no, what I'm saying is, you saying. don't see, see too many artists, or I haven't seen too many artists because I haven't gone to too many concerts or whatever. But I've heard through many people on. Because I'm prepared, we're preparing for her well, the new tour coming out, the celebration this, tour. 
she was always known only be for dancing and singing at the same time, and that takes a lot of... Only because you've not been to a lot of concerts. You've lived a sheltered life. Um, this particular concert that she's doing is a traditional concert back in the 80s. This is how most performers mm -hmm. did their concerts, with the exception of some of the other ones that, you know, just stood there and sang, um, like in bars and stuff like that. But this is your traditional, 80% of your, your musicians that went to concert, that did concerts, this is what it, this is what it was. She took it to the next level. I remember hearing I, Let me finish. It. Okay. She took it to the next level on her next concert, and that's when mm -hmm. she, or, or it could have been the one after that, mm -hmm. I don't know. But when, as her concerts progressed, her concert, her, her showmanship progressed, and she got more elaborate, more flashy. Yeah, I, I do remember because after, yeah, it was, it was right up until the Blonde Ambition tour. Mm -hmm. That's where she was the first to do a um, concert where it had themes and theatricals, mm -hmm. and she was the first one to start that. Correct. That's what up I'm until now, because I think what I was reading about her was even the one she done after this, she has projection screens behind her, but that's it. It's still simple, yeah. but then when she went to do the Blonde Ambition tour, when she made Truth or Dare, but guess what? But we will go. We you we are, are going to be reacting to that as you well. Will see that journey when we get there. Yes, but what I'm saying is, I think now I can understand why they said that whenever um, she was signed up, she got a trainer and she ran. She she was always running ten miles every single day. Now I can understand why, because it gives that cardio mm -hmm. where you can sing and dance at the same time without short-winding yourself and sounding terrible. Because I heard a lot of people say that she can't sing. They say that she can dance, that she makes good songs, and she had, she pushes buttons. But a lot of them say that she cannot act and she cannot sing. But I stand, I, I have to stand, I have to correct everyone on this. I think she could do all those. Well, the I don't think the right things have come along as far as the acting, except for Evita. And who's that girl? And who's, well, who's that girl was a flop, but still, like we it. loved it better than any other but Madonna movie there is. She can sing. Yes. I don't care what they say. It may not be what people like, as far as notes and stuff like that. Whatever, it don't matter. She can sing. If she can't sing, she wouldn't. She wouldn't be making the money she's making or being as good as she is. If she couldn't sing, and the reason why I say that is, there are talented people out there that can put shows on and performances on, but if you can't sing, it's not a concert. It can, it if you can't sing and all you do is put on a show, that's all you do. It's a show. It's not a concert. She's doing like, she's doing shows and concerts in one. And back then, they didn't have yeah. the um, auto tune, auto tune, and um, the the thing that helps you whenever you're singing. If you miss a, a note or something, it it's like a pre-recorded of the song. Mm -hmm. Where if she sk skips a line or something, it'll pick it up. Yeah. So she didn't have anything to help her with backup. She was solely relying on her voice alone. Well, we're only like. 10% into the concert. So let's, so, yeah. let's watch and see if anything else happens throughout the concert later on.
Jason Hero. like freaking amazing I would be so damn scared to throw the damn tambourines up in the air because you know how everybody will just nitpick at everything oh she dropped the tambourine on stage she shouldn't have tried to do that but I like the fact that I did pick it out she was talking about her home she, mm -hmm. she's from Detroit but she's from the suburbs Bay City right Bay City Michigan sure which is outside of Detroit. It's like a suburb. I do know this. But I like the I fact. Can, I can tell it's her very first concert, though. Because she, you can tell she's getting out of wind. She's getting short-winded between the dancing that she is doing and the singing that she's doing. She's struggling to keep it up because she doesn't have, she hasn't trained herself yet. So you, I can definitely tell the difference. She's doing a great well, job. From what I heard, they had to put her, she had to do the Virgin Tour while the slap while the iron yeah. was hot because her yeah. albums were doing very and I well. I get that. I get that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not putting her down by no means. But you can definitely tell that it is her very first concert. Yes, and I do remember reading about somewhere that um, Macy's did a whole department area where it was nothing but Madonna merchandise, like the. Yeah. The bracelets and the hair nets and the crucifix earrings and the pearls and lace gloves and all that. And they said that they kept selling out of them so much they couldn't even keep them in stock. But I like the fact that... Like I said, awesome yeah. job as usual. I, I, I We'll go into part three very soon. One more thing I just want to point out real okay. quick. I like the fact that she... It, it, it would be a dream... If I could do it, but it's too late now for me. But, anyways, I like the fact that, yeah, now that we know that she's in Detroit, more than likely most of those people in that arena there know her, but probably didn't recognize her in school. And now they're probably, why didn't I make friends with Madonna whenever she was in school? We could have been besties and all that. Mm -hmm. I know Debbie Mazar was. Because she was in a lot of her videos. But, anyways, that did, that was, um, Into the Groove. Get Into the Groove by Madonna from the Virgin Tour of 1985. Another spectacular song, but that one was more energetic, I think, than all of them. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty sure she's probably going to be taking a break soon and probably doing a ballad or something. Mm -hmm. She's in. I don't but know. We'll, we won't know until we see it. So. That's true. Thanks for sticking in there. Remember to subscribe so you can keep up with us. Because like you said, if you're a true Madonna fan, you're going to want to see what's coming on down the pipeline. And click the notification little bell thing. Alrighty. And let us know what you think. You know, if you like the journey that we're going on and um, which, which ones that you like the best, okay? Without further ado, we're going to say goodbye until next episode of the Virgin Tour by Madonna. Stay well, stay safe, love you.